Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. Yo, Sambo, and joining us as always is Seraphis, our level 41 Worgen Mage. Say good day, Seraphis. Greetings. Greetings and greetings to you guys watching along from home. Welcome to this episode. And of course, if you joined us in the last one, you'll know exactly where we are. That's right, we are here in Theramore Isle. And of course, we've done all of the quests here in the fort itself. And now we get to actually head out into Dust Wallow marsh which i've really really been looking forward to and of course we've got all of this over the western side a lot of it is new too including if you haven't been in wow for a while mud sprocket down there you can see down the bottom there's a new outpost and of course we've got all sorts of other new things post cataclysm as well but what we're going to do is work our way up north first because generally i find the zone is kind of designed to sort of work north and then go around the top and then go head south into the main part of the marsh so we're going to go up the top here and you're probably going to see some sites familiar and unfamiliar and you know what I can't wait the first thing we've got to do up here is for our local chef and this is called mud rock soup and bugs and you can see we've got to get ourselves eight forked mud rock tongues and then up the top here as well is the hermit of swamp like manor we've got to speak to swamp eye jarl at the swamp light manor and again if you've played well here in theramore isle before and indeed in dust wallow marsh that will be very familiar to you but look how awesome it looks there with this sun setting in the background behind Lady Jaina Proudmoore's Mage Tower there. Tell you what, we love this game. Alright, I think it's time to mount up. Let's get on our Swift Frost Saber for a change there. And by the way, a lot of people ask, how did you get that? That's through being exalted with Darnassus. That's how you get it. In fact, we can get any of the mounts from any of the major factions in the Alliance. All we have to do is get ourselves exalted to that particular faction. It's quite, quite easy. Right, now I can see another quest here too by the way as we head out the front gate let's have a chat to lieutenant aiden and see what he's got to say hey there a disturbing development reports from our scout patrols have recently taken a disturbing turn they tell of men wearing red defias bandanas walking the dreadmerk shore north of theramore's walls wreckage in the area suggests they may be survivors of a shipwreck but our information is limited captain wymore at sentry point a guard tower to the north of the city is looking for help in following up on those reports so we have to report to captain wymore at sentry point and we'll absolutely do that and of course that's going to lead us out the front as well you can see it's right out the front gate in fact that might now be the first quest that we do so again if you've played any of Theramore Isle in the past if you're an old school WoW player this here will look very very familiar to you and you'll know that there's a whole bunch of guard towers coming up you know what all of this brings back so many cool memories I love it around here and look at that view will you folks look at that view it is just gorgeous I know we say it every single episode I'm going to say it again this is just a beautiful beautiful game yes I know the graphics are dated but they are done so well I mean you can't tell me that that isn't an awesome awesome sight I just absolutely love being in this world and in fact you know what we might use that as the backdrop for a couple of our shout outs and we've got one here from Agent Rainer 96 and they say hey Sambo can I please have a shout out for my first ever death knight his name is Saiten pronounced Saiten yes that's right I think and he's on Kazgaroth oh that's where we are so you've got a death knight here on our server well hello to you also i was wondering if blizzard could make a zone or even a whole continent based on a major real life war what war do you think they would base it on and i think i answered this in the youtube comments but i reckon they'd go viking because they seem to have a lot of viking mythology in their games and of course one of their very very early games was the lost vikings what was that back in the snes days oh come on hands up if you played that i spent countless hours playing the lost vikings and here's a question for you 10 internet points to anybody who can tell me the instance where the lost vikings are here in the world of warcraft yes they are here all three of them whereabouts are they which instance there you go 10 internet points is up for grabs got one more shout out here and this is from alex clark and they say could you please give me a shout out for my level 70 troll warrior oh we love trolls and say hello to jack in adelaide from alex 
Alex. If you could do that in one of your next episodes of Let's Play WoW, that would be awesome. I know it's hard to fit them all in, but if you could do it, it would make my year. Well, there you go. A big hi to Jack in Adelaide. And of course, Adelaide is here in Australia. And that is from Alex Clark. So thank you very much, guys, for your support. And I certainly hope that you guys are enjoying this series. I certainly am. I love it to death. I'm never going to stop playing WoW as long as it's here. All right, so I guess while we're here, what we could do is take down a couple of these mud rock closer. spike shells here. And we need to make sure that our molten shield is up. There we go, molten armor. And let's see if we're close enough. Yes, we are. Let's open up with a frost bolt as always. Following that up with a fireball. And then throw some instant spells on him there. And there we go. All right, so hopefully we'll get... Oh, and this is interesting. Not every single one of these is going to give us a forked tongue. So that's interesting. But we can skin them, which is something that we like very, very much. Because, of course, we do want our skinning to go up. So a bit of a double prong there, if you like. Aha, uh -huh, forked tongue double. Yeah, anyway. All right, hopefully we'll get a tongue, and there we go, one of them. All right, L, and we also get some turtle meat as well, and you know what, that's really good to sell on the AH, by the way. And by the way, look at those water effects. Real-time water effects in WoW now, folks. We love it lots. There's our arcane missiles. Just managed to get those off before they dissipated. Let's do some blasting. That is typical mage stuff there, running around, letting off our arcane explosion. And that's something I didn't know either too, by the way. Arcane barrage you can actually use while you're running around because it's an instant spell. Forgot about that. Oh man, do you know what? I actually remember the very first time I ran up this coast and I had no clue what was going on and I didn't know where I was going. And of course this was back in the vanilla days and I'd been questing here in the Dust Wallow Marsh. There we go. Questing here in the Dust Wallow Marsh, and I came over here, over to the to the sort of shore area, and I thought, gosh, I wonder where it goes. And I actually walked all the way up, and I had no idea. It was all like big, bushy tail, bright-eyed stuff back then in the day. I walked all the way up here, and if I zoom out, here we go, and ended up here, up the top, at the Merchant Coast. And of course, I was getting very much into Horde territory, and I ended up seeing the Northwatch Hold, wherever that is, somewhere around here, and then here in ratchet and that's how I discovered that I just decided to sort of throw caution to the wind had no idea where it was going to end up I didn't even know if it would end up in a dead end and it paid off because I discovered all of that stuff on my own without having to be sent up on a quest and will you look at the clowns folks that is absolutely amazing we always talk about the blood red sky here now that is about as blood red as you can possibly get that is gorgeous as the sun sets here in Kazgaroth course in the dust wallow marsh and there we go some heavy leather now this is going to take a while i do remember this now the drop rate on these is not high so i think this is good that we've sort of made a pit stop over here what we'll do is we'll head back to the main road and we'll pick up the quests where we have to go talk to the guards at the sentry tower but what it means is that we can keep coming back to the shore there we go only two of eight keep coming back to the shore and sort of picking these guys off as we work our way up north. Now what's that one there? Yeah, there we go. All right, we'll just grab this one more as we look at this beautiful sunset. Seriously, folks, that is just, oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. It's like being in a tropical paradise here. It really is. All right, three arcane blasts, and that's it for him. Let's skin him, and then I think we might backtrack a little bit and head back to the main road. Now, you can actually just hop over here, by the way, if you wish, but there are some fairly nasty mobs over there if you're doing this at level. There's some spiders, and yeah, spiders and ghosties a little bit further north, I think. Maybe we'll just nip up here and have a look. May come across something, we may not, but I really love this marsh scenery, by the way, and again, mainly because it brings back so many fond memories for me. If we can jump over that fence there we go so many fond memories and again i remember the very first time i walked up this road thinking wow where is it gonna lead and of course again you sort of start coming into horde territory especially if you've been an alliance player and you've only ever played over in the eastern kingdoms and places like elwyn forest and red what's that red red oh i've forgotten the name of it gosh that's unusual for me i have to go check now over here here we go so we've got stormwind and we've got elwyn forest and then over there it is red ridge mountains in fact that was the second zone i ever played in i think and then I went down into, I think, Duskwood was my next one. Oh, man, bringing back the memories now. Do you know what? I wish I could go back to those days. It was so awesome. Here we go, Sentry Point, as the signpost says. And hopefully we'll find our quest person in here. And there he is, Captain Wymore. Let's have a chat with him. 
what can I do for you? All right, a disturbing development. The captain makes no effort to hide the fact that he's assessing your ability. So, you've heard about the recent shipwreck off the coast? Good. I could use it with some help confirming my suspicions about the survivors. Welcome aboard, Seraphis. There we go. Defias in Dust Wallow. Now, another 10 internet points here. If you play a human, where are the Defias? Where are the first time that you actually see the Defias? Which zone? And even more specifically, Specifically, if you can, which part of the zone um, is it that you first come across these guys? Let me know. 10 internet points up for grabs. Testing your well knowledge there. All right, so Gam Mathers, the Defias Lieutenant. My scouts have reported a shipwreck just off the beach to the northeast. Shipwrecks aren't all that unusual out here, but the reports also indicated that the survivors were all wearing red bandanas. The symbol of the Defias. The reports indicate their leader resides on a large island just off the coast to the northeast of the tower. Kill him and retrieve any documents that you find in his possession. Mm -hmm. All right, so if we have a look on our map and see where that is, I think it's up the top here. There, there we go. There's a little island, I think, just if we turn off the quest tracker. There we go. Yeah, it's just there on that island. It's not the big, big, big island. It's just the one off the shore. And again, we'll be able to get to that when we're hunting our little turtles there for our other objectives for the mud rock soup and bugs. So you can see very quickly we're getting lots and lots of stuff to do. And like I said, this zone, if you ever played it in the old days and you thought, eh, it's a bit boring, a bit meh, it is not any more. Seriously, the quest progression here has been completely revamped and it's lots and lots and lots of fun and you know what it really pulls you through it's good XP especially at level so if you've got a choice I do recommend that you come here rather than somewhere else because it's actually lots of fun and really interesting quests and the stories around here are very cool as well and here we are at Witch Hill and we've got oh look at that the famous dry wallow crocolisks there of course this is, this zone is very famous for its crocolisks we're going to come across lots and lots of those. Right now I can see we can if we want carry on up here to Swamp Light Manor or we could head out to the coast again. I think we might as well head out to the coast seeing as we're here and we may look there's a giant marsh frog. Rabbit. Hello. I do I really really love the atmosphere around here and yeah you guys are going to be so, oh there's a big massive big spider you know what again I remember the very first time that I came here and saw these spiders I was with a friend we'd never seen anything so big and I completely spazzed out oh there we go because you can imagine if you're used to seeing spiders that are only you know normal spider size in the zones that you come from there's something you're coming across these which are the same size as you it's a bit freaky let me tell you that much there we go creepy creepy things now of course you can't skin spiders in this game by the way just so you know all right so let's have a look here let's head down to the coast i think but again yeah love this particular uh, i don't know what you call it tile set the scenery the environment it's very cool oh look at that we've got a defias rummager so we're definitely in the right area and i think that's the island over there that we need to go to yeah look at that we've got lots of defias around here so i'd say that's where that big guy is the lieutenant I need a target. And of course, the humanoids drop cloth. And for our level, it's going to be silk cloth. And not only can we use that for bandaging, but we can also use that to sell on the AH and make lots of money. Money, money, money. Yeah, lots of silk cloth. We like that. All right, so it looks like we've got ourselves a couple of toitles. Toitles. There we go. There's Theramore. You can see the flag on the top of Jaina Proudmoore's Mage Tower there, in fact way off in the background that's how far we've come so yeah if you did walk up the coast you'd arrive at the same point you can see the docks of Theramore and the silhouette of silhouette of the ship in the background there there it is very cool oh and we've got ourselves a forked mud rock tongue as well that's very fortunate and there's a couple more here let's hope that they drop a tongue as well then we'll swim out to that island and see if we can put paid to that defias lieutenant who's causing trouble out there Oh, I see, we've got friends. And there we go, short, sharp work of those two. Another forked mud rock tongue, thank you very much. And just one out of there. That's not bad, two tongues for three mobs. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. All right, let's swim out here. <clears throat> Excuse me, losing my voice. 
love the underwater feel too in World of Warcraft as well. Well, you just actually feel like you're like swimming underwater. The sound changes, the graphics change. Obviously, everything goes all murky. Um, the movement changes. It's just cool. I remember that from my first days as well. The, I didn't even realize for a long time, way back in the beginning, that he could actually swim underwater because I didn't know how to kind of mouse turn back then. And I remember the very first time I went under here, I was completely blown away. I think I spent the next week exploring things from underwater. It was just bonkers. All right, this guy's not going to know what's happening to him because out of the water is going to come a whole bunch of spells. <laughs> Now he's going to have to swim to us. He is doomed. He's got no chance. That's all right. There we go. 276 XP as well. Always handy. All right, so I'd say we're going to have to clear out some of these guys before we find the main boss, but that's okay. Now give us some cloth. Oh, no cloth from you. Fine. All right, and I'd say that's him over there. I know that's Defias Diver, Conjurer. Where's the main guy? Oh, there he is, Gam Mathers. He's over there off to the side. All right, so we can survey the situation up here. I say we clear this camp out anyway. What do you reckon? Because XP is XP, and that'll give us free reign of the island as well. Come here, you Conjurer. Let's see if we can kill a fireball versus fireball. And yeah, we got our one. Oh, look, we are going to have to. Oh, actually, got an opportunity to grab him. Let's do it. He's all by himself. Let's see, he wanders around. There we go. Easy peasy. And there they are, the Defias Orders, which, of course, is what we need. There they are. These orders are penned in ornate script on heavy, expensive paper. Right-click to read. I love the detail in this game, too. The fact that you can actually read the quest items. I needn't remind you of the importance of your mission guard. Protect your precious cargo at any cost. As I have promised, success and discretion will be richly rewarded. Keep the tongue wagging of your associates to a minimum. Heed the crew and all will be well. I shall await word of your success. You know what? It doesn't actually say who it's from. Mm, interesting. The plot thickens. So there's definitely some kind of defias, nefarious deeds going on around here. Perhaps through the questing we'll be able to find out exactly what that is all right well we definitely don't need to clear out this anymore and oh my god look at that seriously look at it reflecting on the water it's just beautiful oh love this game love this game all right so now we've done that i think we can head back oh actually let's actually head back i think anyway to the captain there at the sentry point because yeah, I don't want to kind of leave it lingering back there, if you know what I mean. Let's just get it out of the way now. We'll ride back there nice and quickly. Get on our winged guardian. Now, a lot of you guys ask, hey, Sambo, where do you get the winged guardian from? How do you get that mount? It's really easy. You actually buy it from the Blizz store. So it's actually from the store online, just so you know. All right, let's see if we can sneak across here. Taking a bit of a shortcut. Which hill? Oops, sorry about that wing guardian. That's what that's the noise it makes if you hurt it. Oh, and look at that. We've got the Noxious Flayer. They're also a familiar sight around here in the Dust Wallow Marsh as well. And I think we had some mining come up on the mini-map there. But I ran past it. Here we go. That was a real big shortcut into Sentry Point. And there it is. Alright, let's have a chat to Captain Weiner. See what he's got to say. Were you able to track down their leader? We sure were. Captain Weiner accepts the orders from you and reads over them. What in the world could precious cargo refer to? Hmm. The Defias have done some small-time smuggling back in Stormwind, but this seems out of their league. The language of these orders suggests a wealthy or noble patron. Oh, and will you look at that, folks? Woo! What do you reckon about that, Seraphis? Fantastic! It is fantastic. Oh, this is a big one. Look, we are now level 42, and yes, we're going to check something out in just one moment. Let's accept this quest first. From the wording of the orders you recovered, it looks like the first priority of the Defias will be to locate and secure whatever cargo they possessed. SI7 has had a salvage diver named Ren McGill working out of Theramore for some time. 
When he heard about the shipwreck, Wren went north to dive near the islands the Defias now occupy. And of course, that's where we just were before. If we're to beat the Defias to this cargo, we'll need his help. Look for him in the waters northeast of a small island just north of the island you visited earlier. So there we go. It's just as well that we did come back. Bring the Defias orders to Wren McGill in the waters of the Dread Merc one. Shore. Now, if we have a look at our map, there you go. You'll see it's just up the top. Now, I remember this one oh, totally clearly as well. It's around the back of that island island there and yeah I know exactly what happens with that one all right but of course folks yay us we are now level 42 can you believe it this is awesome it's just going way too fast though, of course so what we need to do is go into our spell book and you can see here we've reached level 42 we have a new ability available called portals visit the portal trainer in your capital city to learn how to open portals enabling group mates to instantly travel to major cities now this is a big thing of course and this this is really what defines being a mage. Now, as you know, over here, we've got already teleport and we can teleport to any of the major cities that we've unlocked. And in this case, we've got Theramore, we've got Exodar, we've got Darnassus, we've got Ironforge and Stormwood. Now, I'm sure you guys realize how powerful that is. All it does is cost some regents and we have those regents here, the rune of teleportation. That's it. And of course, we're able to from here, let's face it, we're on this continent, we're able to go all the way to Darnassus. Nasus. We're able to go all the way to the Exodar over there. We're able to go all the way over here to Stormwind or Ironforge, etc. We can actually get around traps very, very fast. So, for example, you know, if I wanted to go to Stormwind quickly to go to the auction house and all that stuff, all I have to do is throw up one of my actual teleports there and I take myself over there. I don't have to worry about going to the boat, catching the boat, running anywhere. I just get teleported straight into the Mage Tower in Stormwind City. It's amazing. And then, of course, I can come back here to Theramon. Now maybe that's something we should actually do because hmm, because it'd be kind of cool to learn portals. Ah, uh, no, look, we'll do that another time. But yeah, to learn those portals, I need to go see a mage trainer in Stormwind. So of course I'm going to teleport there. It's very cool. But by the way, you can see I accidentally brought up my talent tree. Even though we leveled, we don't automatically get another talent point. You can see the next one we're going to get is actually at level 43. So there you go, folks. Don't forget that when you hit level 42, you will need to go and start training your portals. Uh, you will become a very, very popular group member because, of course, then it's not just you that you're teleporting around, but, you know, you can actually teleport your whole group to any major city. And as you probably know, majors tend to make a lot of money in the game because people are willing to pay gold for those portals. And, by the way, they're willing to pay lots of gold. So, yeah. That's another great thing about a mage. And of course, the other thing is food. We keep forgetting to uh, basically bake, if you like, or conjure our mana cookies. And that is food and water for free as well. Now, by the way, I think I can see some mining up here, is it? Or is that... Oh, no, they're fish, of course, because we're in swampland. So that's why. All right, now, before we go any further, do you guys recognize this? Let's dismount there. Do you recognize this if you're an old school WoW well player? Yes, it's Swamp Light Manor. And listen to that music. It's all creepifying. Why is that? Why is that? Well, that thing over there might be a clue. What's it called? A risen husk. And it kind of looks like a zombie. A zombie. Yes, why is that? Hmm, there's definitely a mystery around here. And we want to know what's going on. And we've got a funny feeling that Mordant Grimsby and Swamp Eye Jarl here have definitely got something to do with it. And look at that, we've also got some loose dirt in the backyard, I'm sure. Again, that this is actually bringing all sorts of memories back for you. And yes, here we go, look at this. I brought you a housewarming gift, Jarl. Go on, open it. I think you'll like it. Let's see what Swamp Eye Jarl has to say, Jarl. Now this is, of course, just a timed event thing that happens all the time. Unless it's something I can eat, I don't want it, he says. Jarl, you haven't been yourself ever since I arrived. What is going on? Nothing. Want to help me whip up some frog leg stew? I came out here to visit you, Jarl, and I find you living in an empty cabin in the middle of nowhere babbling about frogs. You are hopeless. Now, again, this is all nothing to do with me. This is the conversation they basically have at Cycles Round anytime you come here. You don't actually have to be on the quests for this to happen. But anyway, we need to turn in our quest here. You need something? Here we go, the Hermit of Swamplight Manor. Get off my lawn. Uh -huh. Unless, that is, you want to help old Swamp Eye with a little bit of cooking. What do you say? Safe travels. Hey there. Here we go, Marsh Frog Legs. I like cooking. Good swamp cooking. 
fried green frog legs and the like. And I'm all out of legs. The manor is overrun with frogs though. Giant marsh frogs. Think you could bring me some of those legs? Nothing to it really. Just bop them on the head and bring me the legs. Then I'll make a stew and stew it up and suck it down and give you some too. Do you like stew? I think this guy's a bit weird. Collect 10 marsh frog legs from giant marsh frogs. Around. So there's our first task. Let's hop in here. Have a chat to Morden Grimsby. With you. What's haunting Witch Hill? And this is what I was talking about, folks. I travelled out here to pay Jarl a visit at his new home, and it's been a non-stop horror show ever since. There's something seriously wrong here, and I can't be the only one who sees it. Have you seen the ghosts and corpses shambling about Witch Hill? I've got a feeling that if anyone knows what happened here, it's them. Seek out these risen husks and risen spirits in the surrounding area, grant them rest through combat, and see what you can learn from them before this evil consumes Jarl. So there you go, our quest objective is that we've got to gather information by defeating 10 risen husks or 10 risen spirits. Careful. We'll definitely take that one on. And again, looking at our quest map there, we make it big, you can see we've got a lot of stuff to do all around here. I really like this area, seriously, again, bringing back so many memories. This picture here, looking out over the marshland here from Swamplight Manor, over this little wharf, this definitely brings back memories. Oh, I love it, I love it. As does this mound of dirt here. Let's see what it's all about shall we? The Orc Report. Sifting through the loose dirt, the severed hand of an orc is found. Ew. And clutched in the hand is a bone carved tube. And in the tube is a dirt stained parchment. The parchment is written in orcish and it looks kind of important. Bring the spy's report to Lieutenant Aiden in Theramore. So there you go. You can see we've got to take that all the way back down there to Theramore Isle. Well folks, it looks like we've run out of time now, but oh man, we've got a lot to do. You can see we've got a whole bunch of tasks all lined up for our our next episode here at the Swamp Light Manor and of course here in the Dust Wallow Marsh and you know what I can't wait look at it all it's all there waiting for us and I certainly hope you enjoyed this episode more importantly of course hope you'll join us next week when we get to investigate all of this stuff so in the meantime on behalf of myself Sambo and Seraphis here our level now 42 Worgen Mage is us saying take care hope you guys are having a great day wherever in the world you are we do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye bye Never forget, never surrender.